Our senior friends were cruising through their classes with TA periods and open four. Sound familiar? Their excitement for summer was unreal since they knew they wouldn't have any type of summer homework on their mind. They kept talking about graduation, and a year ago, they were walking across this stage as CASA alumni, which is what we'll be doing tonight. 286 days ago, senior year started, and that was the first day of the end. That was the morning we came to this field for senior sunrise and released the red balloons that held one of our goals for the year. Even though we did run out of balloons halfway through, <laughs> we, all played, we all envisioned our plans for the year ahead of us. In this past year, we experienced all of our lasts. Our last homecoming, our last high school sports game, our last play performance, and many other events we will no longer experience when we leave. However, in contrast, this past year we experienced many firsts. For example, some of us were in a drama production for the first time, or spent our first Saturday at set building. For the first time, we asked our friends to dances by singing songs like Can't Take My Eyes Off You by Frankie Valli, or went to our first dance in general. In addition to that, we went Powder Puff and Rambo, and I know that wasn't technically a first, but it was our first time doing it as seniors. We went to our, we sent out our first college apps and received our first acceptance, acceptances, along with a few denials, but we'll just forget about those ones. We followed our career choices when we committed to that four year, or when we applied for our first classes at a JC. We enlisted in the military and enrolled in beauty school and for once in our lives, we actually have an idea of what our futures might look like. Looking back on the 857 days we spent here at CASA, senior year really did bring our four years of high school to a closing. It taught us to always remain intellectually curious and to step out of our comfort zones since the best memories are made in doing something out of the ordinary. It taught us what true friendship is and allowed us to grow bonds with the people we saw every day, whether it be the students we saw in our walks to classes, for the teachers we met in these last four years that we know we're going to miss. We all shared so many experiences which in turn brought the class of 2016 so close together. At this point, on behalf of the entire senior class, I'd like to give thanks to the moms, dads, guardians, and peers that stood by us throughout this journey for their endless support and for pushing us to do our absolute best. I'd also like to express our gratitude for the teachers who gave us the knowledge that got us to where we are today. Graduation. And lastly, I'd like to share my own personal appreciation to you all, my classmates. Since time is inevitable, and there is a possibility we may grow apart, I want to remind you all that we'll always have the memories we created together here in high school. Oh gosh. Each and every one of us has added to each other's high school experience in some way. And I can't thank you enough for making my last four years absolutely wonderful. Congrats to us, the class of 2016. We finally reached 857. Thank you.